welcome to the Richmond Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Academy. My name is Eric Berto. I'm here with my student Danny Yakel. Uh, today we're going to be showing you uh, a basic mount escape, a little trick that is uh, very nice to use when it's tough to escape the mount. It's going to put you directly into the half guard where you can shuck and take the back. So we're stuck in the mount. We've made a lot of mistakes to get to this point. We can't afford to make any more mistakes or the fight's going to be over. The most important thing I can do right now is develop a solid defense. So I need to keep my elbows low and in. If they're high, he's going to slide his knees higher for the uh, high mount. I'm going to be in a lot of trouble for arm bars, chokes. I need to get my elbows low. If his knees are already high, I need to push off my feet and shoulder walk back until I can get my elbows on the floor acting as brakes against his knees so he can't advance higher. From here, I'm going to push off my foot, strip slightly onto my side, almost to a 45 degree angle, just getting my tailbone off the floor. And the most important thing is how I develop my defensive frame right here. I keep my elbow against his kneecap and my other arm going across his stomach, right across the belt line, is like a nice frame. My elbow is bent. I don't allow that arm to go straight where he can slide up the back to technical mount and finish me. I need to keep him at bay. So I have a frame tight against his stomach, a frame into his, el um, into his kneecap here, and my chin is still tucked. Normally when we try to escape, put the guy back to the half guard, we just bridge, push, kick our leg out, and wrap, contain the leg. Sometimes that's really hard against a higher level jiu-jitsu player because they'll stick their foot on the bottom of your thighs, so when you go to bridge and push, his leg doesn't go anywhere. That's where you bring in the reinforcement. The foot over here that's bridging is going to step to the outside and I use my heel to pick up his instep. I pull it on top of my thigh. If you notice here, this leg is still down on the floor and this foot is still posted, but his ankle is stuck right here inside this gap. Now I try to push the leg back into the half guard. The knee is still outside. I need it inside to finish the position. But again, the, the knee is load bearing and sometimes it's very hard to push. So again, I bridge off the foot, which takes the weight off his knee, and now I can push the knee inside my half guard. My hand is ready to become an outside underhook. This foot helps me shrimp onto the side of my hip, and I finish with blocking the cross space. This might be one of the most important details in half guard, as if I don't control this, he's gonna cross face me, flatten me out, and my life becomes very difficult. So I wanna keep a strong outside underhook. I wanna be off my tailbone onto my side, and most importantly, I want to block this inside cross face. Wherever his hand goes, my elbow follows. So my elbow is like a windshield wiper uh, protecting him from swimming inside. If my elbow stays static and he rolls inside, he's going to cross face and smash me out. I can't afford to have that happen with a bigger guy. So I want to keep his weight off me. I keep my arms straight and strong. I keep my hip out to the side, blocking the cross face. From here, I can shuck him forward using my arm across his back diagonally a little bump with my knee into the butt and tucking my chin to my belly button. I come out the back door and listen to his spine. I build up my base to my elbow. From here, I lift and open my knee wide. That puts me on his back. I have a slight hook in here. Notice I don't keep the strong half guard hook anymore. I'm just gonna drop this in and come up to my hand and knee. From here, I need to open the gap on this side. So. What's going to happen a lot of times is the guy's going to defend, he's going to keep his elbow and knee in very tight. So if I try to throw the hook in, the space is not going to be there. I need to reach my hand inside this gap, control over his wrist with all five fingers, and flare my elbow open. That opens the space for my second hook to come into, and now here I am on Danny's back for the four points. Thanks very much for watching guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please subscribe and like our YouTube channel, comment on the videos, let me know if you guys have any questions. And if you're ever in Richmond, Virginia, please stop by our academy. We're located in the VCU area of downtown Richmond. Our website is www.richmondbjj.com. Thanks guys.